Hi, Robert Mellon here. You know, today I want to talk about uh, the danger of pride right at this instant in time. Uh, we're going through this uh, horrible thing that's going on with the with the riots that came uh, after the Trump speech and while they were doing the electoral deal in, in the House of Representatives, which was terrible. It was a small group of people. Um, a small group of people compared to the hundred thousand or more that were there, but they were extremists. They were they were they were extreme. They were full of pride that they wanted to tear down the country, and uh, and they just had no no shame to go in and attack officers and and break into that building. It was just I can't believe they did it. But it was, it's just you know you can't choose sides about pride. You know, pride is bad if you're a Republican. Pride is bad if you're a Democrat. It doesn't matter. Pride is pride will take you down. That was the thing that, that pride is the thing that took the, that destroyed the devil. Uh, he was puffed up in pride in his heart. Uh, he, he said, I'm going to, he was, he was given the highest position in heaven. He was given great glory in heaven, uh, right next to the throne of God. And but he wanted he wanted worship. He wanted the the angels to worship him. He wanted the man that God had created to worship him, to be subservient to him. And so Satan rose up in pride. Now Satan was in was a glorious angel, but he rose up in pride and he said, I'm gonna exalt myself above the throne of God, above the stars of God. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And so that was his downfall. That's when he was corrupted. He was corrupted in his in his inner being uh, with pride, and so he went on to deceive Adam and Eve. You know, Adam and Eve weren't deceived by a snake; they were deceived by a, by an angel that was that was acting like a snake. And so uh, Adam and Eve fell, and and uh, so Satan tempted Eve with the same with the same thing with pride. You know, he said, "You know, you don't need to." Uh, you, you know, you you can eat of the tree of, of you know, it doesn't matter what God told you. You can eat of the the tree of good and, of knowledge of good and evil. He says, if you do that, you'll become wise like God. <laughs> it sounds just like the devil. Then you can become wise like God. You can become super smart. You can control your own destiny. You might not even die. <laughs> you don't have to eat the tree of life. Well, you, it is symbolic of Jesus, which is the tree, which is eternal life. Said you, you can you can do your own thing. Pride, pride is a is a corrupter of humanity. And so, whether it's happening, no matter where it's happening, when pride rises up, you know the scripture says that pride comes before a fall. When pride rises up, you know the demonic powers are involved in it. When you see an athlete rise up in pride, when you see a, a, a senator or congressman rise up in pride, or you see you see um, anyone rise up in pride. Uh, the the masters of the universe when you see them rise up in pride uh, these these people that, that that own these these large tech companies they rise up in pride well what's going to happen when they rise up in pride they're going to fall and so uh, you can just so you already know what the future is you know that there's going to be uh, a great fall and uh, it happened the same way in in the in the Bible you know, over and over and over again um, when uh, when King Herod was king, uh, he arrested. First of all, he mocked Jesus. Uh, he mocked him. He had he killed John the Baptist. He mocked Jesus, uh, and then he wanted to see Jesus perform a miracle. And when Jesus wouldn't even talk to him, he just mocked him and you know sent him over to be crucified by Pilate. And so Herod Herod was the was a king there and. Uh, responsible for for a section of of uh, of Judea in that area, and so uh, so Herod killed uh, he he condoned he killed John the Baptist, condoned the murder, the crucifixion of Jesus, and then he had then he had uh, he had James arrested, the apostle James arrested, and uh, it was John's brother, and he, he he had him arrested, and then he he executed him. And so that gave a lot of pleasure to to uh, the the Pharisees and Sadducees, religious people who were opposed uh, to Jesus and 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 what he was doing. 
and the church opposed to the church. And so Herod said, you know what, I think I'll just arrest Peter. So, so Herod arrested Peter and uh, was going to have him executed the same way he did John. And then the church was praying. And if you remember that, that an angel came and even though he was guarded by 16 soldiers, the angel rescued Peter from that prison and Peter escaped. So uh, it was just a, an amazing thing. So uh, the, the 16 guards got, they were executed because they, they let Peter get away. So then it said, so, so God didn't do anything about Herod for all these things he was doing. You know, these, these, these evil things that he was doing, God didn't, need, God didn't do anything about it. So you wonder why in the world didn't God judge that? You know, what was, what was happening there? But we get over to, uh, to Acts chapter 12, and so uh, Herod goes over, and, and he's having trouble over in one of his provinces, you know, and so he goes over there, and, and uh, they wanted to appease him, you know, so they could trade with, with, with Herod, with the, with the Judean uh, province there. So, so they, they came to, to honor Herod. They wanted to have peace there. And so uh, Herod got up on a, you know, he set up on his throne there, and he made a, made a great speech. <laughs> and so the people said, this is a god, not man. This is a God talking about Herod. This is a God, not man. And it said, because Herod didn't immediately give glory to God for the gift that God gave him, it said God struck him down and he died. Worms ate him up and he died from the inside. He was struck down at that moment. The minute that he, that he didn't acknowledge that God had given him uh, the ability that he had, and he rose up. And he let them say, they let those people say to him, you're a god. No, this is a god, not a man. Well, that was the demise of Herod. So Herod, Herod, uh, Herod was taken down because of his pride. So we've got to watch out for pride uh, in our life. We can't get prideful and puffed up. Because the instant you feel yourself getting prideful and puffed up and looking down at other people and instead of praying for people, you know, you're looking down at them and judging them. The instant you're doing that, you just you just fell right into the devil's trap. You just fell right into his pride trap. So, uh, the devil's not in heaven anymore. When Jesus was resurrected in Revelation chapter 12, uh, the devil was thrown down and all of his angels were thrown down to the, out of heaven, out of, the, out of the third heaven, where the throne of God is, and they were thrown down to where to where they're bound in this first and on the earth and then the second heaven. So, so uh, they don't have the same position that they had back then. But, but pride, pride destroyed the devil. Pride destroyed Herod. And so pride will destroy us if we get into pride. So you have to guard yourself, especially this time you want to rise up in anger. You see unjust things happening. You see the, the communists trying to, uh, to take over. You see these... Uh, these draconian things where they're trying to control the, uh, tr just block the Republicans out of everything, just control and control everything. And they're going to take 70, you know, they're going to take half of the population and they're going to, and they're, and they're, and they want to just squash them, squash them and just make peasants out of them and, and, and steal all their power and authority and voice to take their voice. Well, um, uh, there's there's a lot of pride in that, and so we don't want to be caught up in the pride because uh, God is going to judge pride, and you don't have, you could just sit around and wait. Say, well, I'm just waiting for the Lord to judge pride, you know, uh, because uh, He's going to take He's going to defend you. Jesus is going to defend you. Jesus is going to defend the things you love and care about. So the thing is, just don't get up in pride. Well, uh, the the ultimate pride right now on the earth is is this group of of people called the masters of the universe, and and they have they have exhibited their gross pride by what they're doing now to shut down um, any opposition voices. Voices they're trying to do it. They're violating every constitution. They're violating every law, and and they're just they're they're just uh, uh, shutting down any media or anything that would promote or that would give the the conservative people an opportunity to, to have a voice. You know, they blocked Trump's Twitter. They, they blocked him totally. 
And so now they've blocked Parler, which was an evil thing that was done. Well, these are the masters of the universe. <laughs> these are the most prideful people in the world. They're the most uh, arrogant people in the world. And so uh, I know that, that uh, they're getting ready for a fall. Pride comes before a fall. And so that God's not going to permit this to go on. That, that, that evil pride, is God's not going to permit this pride to go on. And so... Uh, uh, so we don't have to worry about what's going to happen with them. We don't have to be mad about it. We don't have to do anything. We just say, thank you, Lord, that you're taking care of everything, that you're you're dealing with pride. Keep us humble, Lord. I pray that you would fulfill your desire and your will for our country, for Donald Trump, our country, for, for our, our nation, Lord, that you would bring peace in our nation. Lord, even though it seems like it's impossible now, it seems like it's nothing but a civil war or could result or anything, but, but Lord, you can bring peace. You can deal with the people that are causing, that are risen up in pride, that are causing all the, the division and the anger and stuff. You can deal with that, Lord. And so we just have to let the Lord deal with it. He's the Lord, and and He's going to come with power to fulfill His purposes. If we pray, Lord, we don't receive anything the devil is doing. The devil is causing division. The devil is causing destruction and harm. He's causing, uh, that's what the devil does. Lord, we're not going to permit the devil to do that. We ask you to release your mighty strong arm, your power. Send your mighty angels, Lord Jesus, and, and destroy everything the devil is trying to, to do to bring division and conflict in our country. And all the, the entities, Lord, that are, that, are, that are a part of this, that are controlling this, Lord, just, just remove them. <laughs> so if we do that we give it to the Lord say Lord send your angels cause this we just ask you to take control and uh, and your will be done no matter what's going on in the world we, whether you're watching uh, this video or a year from now or whatever no matter what's happening our job is to stay in peace our job is to not get uh, is not to rise up in judgment ourselves you know that we let the Lord do the judging but uh, and he says that he will judge and he's demonstrated that he will judge pride. So last thing we want to be involved in is is pride. So we need to humble ourselves and stay and and stay uh, stay as humble as possible and control our mind, even though a temptation is to run off in different ways. So uh, uh, that's that's the thing. It's just uh, uh, keep your mind. God will keep in perfect perfect peace. Him whose mind is steadfastly fixed on Him. So if we steadfastly fixed our, our eyes on Jesus, that He is the Lord, that He is the one that brings judgments, just like He did. Uh, he released Peter from prison. You know, he, he did that. He didn't kill Herod at the time. He released Peter from prison. Uh, he, he protected the church. Uh, he's protected the church all these 2,000 years. And so, but He brought judgment where judgment was due, where, where people rose up and 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 felt like they were God, that they were gods, and and they didn't reject that. <laughs> Those guys that that own these companies that are masters of the universe, they should get on their face and say, no, no. They should get on television and say, no, no. We're not the masters of the universe. No, no, uh, because uh, they're in for a big fall. So and it's the Lord's going to do it, and it's not going to be done through human hands and human efforts. The Lord's going to take care of it. So we just need to pray for pray for peace in our country. Pray for peace. Pray that pray that uh, God's will would be done about uh, who who becomes president, and that there would be no uh, riots or anything like that. You know these extreme elements are there. They need to be controlled. And you know the the, the left wing has extreme elements that are running wild in the cities and and destroying stuff, taking over cities. You know the Antifa and 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 groups that are allied with them. Uh, so the left's got a problem. The right's had a problem too because they've got all these guys that are that are extremists and their their whole attitude is is rebellion. And so we don't want any part of it to do with we don't have anything to do with that. So we just ask the Lord to to subdue all the rebellion and to bring peace in our nation to 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 bring peace uh, in our in our government and all this uh, reaction to the government trying to squash uh, the Republicans and anybody that disagrees with them the Lord's going to deal with that because that's pride too that is extreme pride to want to control so the Lord will deal with that and Lord we just ask you to deal with it we ask that you do it with your outstretched arm you've got angels powerful angels and you can come 
and take care of this and fulfill your will. Let your will be fulfilled. Let this nation not become a communist nation. Let this nation not become a lawless nation. Let this nation, Lord, be a nation that, that protects the church and 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 stands behind the advancement of the gospel. Jesus is, you know, Jesus is protecting his church right now because uh, America is is the chief evangelistic nation of the world. And so uh, the Lord wants to, this is the time of the harvest and Jesus is going to send out harvesters into his harvest field to reap the harvest from every nation. He's doing it in Iran. He's doing it in all the nations right now. So he's sending out his harvesters. Well, well, we the devil's going to do everything he can to try to stop that. But he can't. And Jesus said, the gates of hell are not going to prevail against against my church, against him and his church. So, so the gates of hell are not going to prevail. So he gives us the authority to bind what the devil's doing and to stop him. We bind whatever the devil's doing in whatever area. We bind that demonic activity. We just pray that way. We bind that demonic activity in the name of Jesus. And we loose the angels of heaven to come and cause God's will to be done in whatever situation is going on. So we have a tremendous role to play. You have a tremendous role to pray. To, to play is to pray. <laughs> a tremendous role to, to pray. That's good. So uh, keep yourself under control. Uh, don't get caught up in pride and judging, but 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 pray that God's will would be done and just release his angels, pray for his angels. If you see something that's not right, uh, every one of us is in different situations with with in the world and, and in our nation, and we know about different things that the other rest of us don't know. When you see pride rising up and you see the devil trying to take control and bring rebellion and bring... Uh, uh, socialism and communism into our country uh, when you see the devil trying to squash free speech when you see the devil doing those kind of things you can say oh I know that's the devil over there the devil's come to he's the one that causes division he's the one that comes to see he's the one that comes to kill and steal and destroy oh he's the one so we just bind that demonic activity in the name of Jesus we stop it in the name of Jesus and we release the angels Lord we ask you to release your angels to bring your government over that situation to bring your peace and government over that situation that you would take control over that situation and so um uh, the gates of hell are not going to prevail against the church in the United States or anywhere in the world and, uh, and in our political arena either. So uh, this, this, this country was founded by people who devoted this country to Jesus. And so we devote this country to Jesus and nobody's going to stop it. And nobody can stop the Jesus. Who's going to fight against Jesus? <laughs> nobody can fight against Jesus. He's the Lord of Lords and he's a warrior. And so uh, we just trust him. Lord Jesus, you take control of the situation. You take control of the, of the situation in Washington. Lord, we pray that you would deal with all the divisive elements, the, the lawless elements, that you personally would deal with them, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, uh, cause your perfect will to be done, that we would have the president that you desire, that you would, that you would stop this oppression of your people, that you would stop this oppression of, of people that disagree with these masters of the universe, Lord Jesus, that you would stop it, that you would, that you would uh, deal with that pride, Lord, and He will. <laughs> but you, you have a different perspective, and so anything you see that's not right, anything you see that's not right, instead of instead of getting mad or angry, you just say, Lord Jesus, <laughs> you're the Lord, you're in control. So, Lord, we just ask you to release your angels to stop, to stop that over there. We ask you to release your angels to help those people over there, Lord. And so, we ask you to release your angels to remove anything that's hindering the preaching of the gospel, Lord Jesus. So, that's our job, is to, is to stay at peace, <laughs> like, we, like stay calm, and, and, and just think how to pray. How am I going to pray about this? When this lawlessness is rising up, just think about uh, people that want to, uh, these, these people that want to control, that want to be gods, that want to control everybody else. Uh, when you see that rising up, you can just say, Lord, uh, deal with that pride, Lord Jesus. Deal with that pride. Deal with them, Lord. Whatever you need to do to deal with them, to stop that activity from, from affecting the whole world, Lord, in Jesus' name. And, and, and Jesus will release his angels to do that. So that's our job. So if we if we stay calm, stay calm, keep focused on Jesus, and anything you see that's not right, that's a sign for you to pray. Oh, I can pray about that. And so uh, 
Uh, this is the time for the church to rule uh, over demonic powers and what they're doing in the earth. This is the time for the church to, ro to, to rule so the harvest can expand throughout the earth, so that the harvesters can go forth throughout the earth, so that the apostles and prophets and teachers and pastors and evangelists will have no restrictions, that they will be able to go throughout the earth preaching the gospel to every creature. And, and, every, and, and when you see Christians being oppressed in a country, you say, Lord Jesus, stop that. Stop that oppression. Lord, turn that oppression. Lord, let, let the rulers that are causing that oppression to be brought down uh, and let the gospel be proclaimed. Let people be saved all over that nation. Turn that nation to you. So we can just use our authority. Jesus said, I've given you the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions to overcome all the power of the enemy. And nothing will by, meaning, by any means harm you. So he said, but don't rejoice about demons being in, submitted to you. Don't rejoice about that. Rejoice that your names are written down in heaven. So we rejoice that our names are written down in heaven. But we do the job that Jesus has called us to do. He said to pray, to bind, bind the devil's work, to loose uh, the angels, to take care of things, to bring things into right order. That's our job. And so uh, that's your job as a Christian. And so your job, our job as Christians is to pray for the harvesters, to, to bind and stop all this demonic activity and to pray for the harvesters to be released, to go and reap the harvest that Jesus purchased with his blood on the cross. Jesus paid for every single person by shedding his blood on the cross. Jesus prayed for every single person. Even the most vile person, the most wicked person, uh, can just turn in a moment and accept Jesus as their Lord and be saved and spend eternity in heaven. Just like the Apostle Paul was running around murdering and arresting Christians, trying to destroy Christianity. But all of a sudden, Jesus appeared to him, and the next thing you know, he's, he's, a, he's preaching the gospel all over the world and wrote half the New Testament and, and advanced the gospel throughout the world. So um, you should be perfect, just, be, you know, just be wise in how you pray. You, know, you stop this demonic activity, but we ask that the Lord would reveal himself to these people that are bound and deceived and confused, that they would be saved, that they would be, but they'd be stopped not to be able to, to do all their junk, to, to, to not be stopped not to be able to express their rebellion and, and come against God's people, but that they would be saved, that they would be humbled and be saved. And so um, we have a great role to play. And in this time, I'm so excited about it. And and so the, mo the main thing is just I wanted to encourage you is not to not to get in a turmoil, because I've been tempted to get in a turmoil too. But don't get into turmoil. But just remember that that we stay in peace. Jesus is in control. He's got the angels. That he's got more angels that can destroy these demonic beings that are operating on the earth through people right now. Uh, Jesus has more angels to do that and take care of it, cause his will to be done. It's never too late for Jesus. So uh, just remember that, and you have a high position. You're a king and a priest. We're going to reign. We're reigning right now as kings and priests on the earth, as it says in Revelation. We're reigning as believers in Jesus are reigning right now as kings and priests. We intercede for people, and we and we exercise authority. <laughs> Glory to God. So uh, anyway, I just pray that the peace of God would would uh, would fill you and fill your home, and that uh, that the Lord would use you mightily in prayer to to fulfill His purposes in the earth right now. Well, God bless you, and have the most wonderful day.